a really good team, another challenge. And, you know, for us, it's still about us. It's still about our focus. It's still about us taking care of little things. It's not just football related, going to class, being on time, those type of things that actually matter, uh, little distractions that come up. Uh, just, you know, trying to be that focused football team. And, you know, that is the goal each and every week. So if we do that, we prepare the right way, then we just have to go play. And, you know, I think our guys understand that. So uh, not really going to, you know, make it any bigger than it is right now other than we have to just take care of our business. I mean, it's really what it comes down to. And we've been able to do that the last two games, so we feel like that formula works. So I don't think we're going to deviate too far from it. Well, they're, they're no huddle, and they run the ball, and they're physical when they do it. Um, they've, over the years, they've been a big play offense. They, they have explosive plays. You know, they can do like all of us, dink and dunk and, you know, have some things where you just some ball control throws out there, but they take shots. They, they have speed on their team. They're physical up front. They can run the ball. So the play action um, and how they do that is impressive. You know, so you got to be disciplined on the defensive side and, and you got to be able to make some plays because you're going to get some one on ones and they're going to create that. Um, and, you know, their quarterback, I think, is doing a good job. Uh, their running back is explosive. You know, he is, I mean, let's go back. He's much like the guy we just faced at quarterback for UConn. You know, we talked about lightning in a bottle. Really the same. Um, a guy that can move, you know, he's just, you know, probably a guy you can't simulate in practice. You're just going to have to be prepared by mentally practicing fast to go out there and make plays on a guy like that. And then their quarterback makes good decisions. And I think over the years at Oklahoma State, their offense, they've changed. They've had different coordinators. But, you know, they, they've had a lot of similarities, you know, from Coach Gundy and what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. And their quarterbacks have played well. So to me, there's a, there's a system, not that they're system guys, but there's a system that they have that supports the type of players they recruit. And that team is long. They're fast. They play aggressive. On the defensive side, um, I think I'm very impressed with how hard they pursue to the football. I'm impressed with their tackling. I'm impressed with their speed. So, you know, this is, this is one of the best football teams in the country, and they show it, and they play that way in the first two games that I've seen. And, you know, that's what I think makes them successful is they've got that identity. They've had it for years, and, you know, they, they play in a – they play really good teams, and they've been one of those teams that have been the top in the Big 12 uh, each year. Question: I, I go back, really, if you go back my first year when I was a coordinator in 06, um, I think the offense was the talk because of how we finished. You know, and we did some things throughout the season, but if you really looked at it, the games that were close and the reason why they were close and the reason why we won was because of the way our defense played. And I knew that. I knew that as a coordinator. You know, Wilcox was the, was the defensive coordinator. And we don't beat San Jose State unless our defense goes out there and plays the way they did. So I knew that, you know, and, you know, being the coordinator on the offensive side, it was great. You know, you kind of getting the attention on that side of the ball. But I don't think that's ever been internally our focus, you know, even myself. And I'm not sitting on the defensive side of the ball. I'm not game planning there. Obviously, I naturally gravitate towards the quarterbacks and the offense, and I feel like that's my strength. So I might as well help our team best I can by going that direction. Um, but little things that, you know, that our defense does and Coach Avalos, the defensive staff, you know, what they do, what they need, how can we help be successful? Um, I've never looked at it any other way. I know how important that is. I knew how important it was when I was a coordinator. So, and I think Pete did the same thing. Um, I will sit in meetings. I'll sit in there, and, and I don't always know everything that's going on. But I know when guys are paying attention. I know when guys are, are getting the right call. I know when guys are focused. I know when guys are being taught the right way. And to me, that's the important part of what I want our team to know is, is that it's all three phases. And that, that's also for special teams. You know, We also focus on that as well. But um, you start to look at our seasons. <clears throat> um, you look at our Fiesta Bowls that we played in. In 2010, you know, we scored on defense again in that one. You look at the, the one in 14, uh, how we were able to stop them at the end of the game. So um, I think maybe the perception is different on the outside, but on the inside, 
I think all the players, coaches, everybody knows the importance of what our defense has meant to our program over all the years. You know, whether it was Hawk, Pete, myself, you know, what they've been able to do. And um, so I really, I really haven't looked at it like that necessarily internally. And I think our defensive coaches and players understand the importance and they know that when they go out there and play well and they create turnovers or they're able to get three and outs, big things happen for us. What I do like is, is seeing, like in our last game, our defense playing well, our offense playing well, special teams playing well. I mean, they're just they're, they're feeding off each other. That's fun because now you're not competing against each other any longer. You're competing for each other.